Hey everyone, Nick here from Shopify. So in a previous video, I showed you how in a matter of minutes, I was able to take the horizon theme and fully customize the layout and look and feel of the header, the homepage and the footer to better tell my brand story. In this video, I want to zoom in on a particular feature of Horizon that allows a lot of flexibility. Horizon themes let you create custom layouts from scratch using what we call the custom section. So if I search for custom section in the section picker, there you go. From there, I can build any layout that I want. And to demo this, I'm going to try to recreate this layout right here from Google Shopping, which is basically composed of a featured image right here. And then on the right, sort of a grid with a content card and then some products. One key concept to understand when building custom layout is the concept of groups. With group blocks, you can determine the direction of the items inside that block. So for example, here, if I'm looking at this layout, I notice that this image and this grid are laid out horizontally. But if I zoom in to this grid, then I'll have one card here and a grid of products laid out vertically, so stacked. And inside that, group here, I have a caption and some text that's also laid out vertically. But inside that grid here, products are laid out horizontally. So by nesting groups inside of groups, I'll be able to control the different directions of items inside of them. All right, so let's dive right in. So going back to my theme here, I've already added my custom section. And now let's start by adding uh, my first group. So I can search for group here. And right away, I'll duplicate this, okay? Because I know that top level, my section is composed of two groups. And these groups are laid out horizontally. So remember, one group here, one group here. So I go back, and then at the custom section level, I know that these groups will be set horizontally. One thing that helps me when building custom layouts like this is one, to either add a border or a background color to my groups. So if I add a border here and set the height to fill, then I already can tell better what I'm doing. So I'll do this for both groups. So now I know that this is one group, this is another group. Great. Now another tip is to rename your groups so you know which ones you're talking about. So this one will be my image, and then this one will be my grid. Great. Now inside my image group, let's go and add an image. I'll just use this one like this. Great aspect ratio. I can select this. Maybe I'll just do square. Okay, good. And then it seems like there's a little uh, link under the image. So I can add a link inside that group as well. So for this, I add a button and then select link. There you go. So there's my link. So we saw this in a previous video, but in order to align items inside a group, the settings to do that will be at the group level. So one level up. So if I go to my image group again, right now stuff is aligned on the left. If I center align them, then my link is center aligned. So that's starting to take shape. One thing I like doing as well is adding more padding around it. So let me add 50 pixel padding top and bottom. And another thing I'm noticing is that um, here we have rounded corners on um, the images. So I can add a rounded corner with the corner radius setting. Set this to 20. Let's move on to the right side here. On the right, we have a content card, I'll call it, with a caption and then some heading text and then a background color. So I'll start by building out that card. I'll build that card with another group. Okay, this group stuff inside of it is stacked vertically. So I'll keep this at vertical. I'll name this card so I know what I'm talking about here. And let's start adding items inside of it. So inside that card, we have two text blocks. One is sort of a caption. And for this, I'll just go ahead and copy paste this placeholder copy for now. Great. So that's my caption. And 
then I'll add another block underneath it for my heading. And then this says this right here. Now I can set this to a different text preset or I could go to custom route and basically just choose the font that I want in the size that I want it like that. Now I can also choose a max width of narrow. So this will keep the text a bit tighter together. And then let's go back to my card and let's apply a different background color behind it. So I'm going to no longer inherit the color scheme from the top level and instead add a background to the card by selecting a different color scheme. Now I'll apply another corner radius there as well to match the image. And I'm starting to see that I need more padding uh, around my content. So I'll add about 30 pixel padding around it. Great. So that's starting to look good. There's a lot more gap between the caption and the heading here. So I can go and add a gap uh, here right now. It's set to 12. Let's maybe make this 45. Why not? Now, under the card, there's products, right? So for this, I'll add another group. Search for group. Add this. I like to rename my groups. So I'll call this products. And then these products will be laid out horizontally. So I can set this to horizontal. Now let's add actual products inside of it. So here I can add a product card. And then let's just select a product. Great. And then let's duplicate this. So I have two product cards side by side. Um, I want my products to be below my card, so I can move those around. And I want to add the same corner radius on these product cards. So I'll go to the product image and set this to 20 pixels for both cards. Now I'm showcasing the same product twice. So for the second one, I can replace and use a different product like this. And now notice how I have different aspect ratios for my product images here because the asset uploaded have different um, ratios. So I can set a specific ratio here that sets it to square on both cards. There you go. Last thing here is I'd love for this card to line at the top and this card to line at the bottom. To do this, I need to go at my grid level here and we'll do position space between. And now this will like split this so that it takes the full height like that. Okay, let's start looking at what this looks like on mobile. On mobile, this stacks, this is good. And then I feel like there would be room to put these two cards side by side. So what I can do is go to my products group and do vertical on mobile, set this to false. So now these are side by side. Okay, so I'm basically there. The last thing I want to do is remove my borders that I've added around my, my groups to help me navigate and see what I'm doing. So right now I'm just going to set border to none on the image group and then on the grid group, borders set to none. Voila. This is looking pretty good. I think there's a few tweaks we can make with the spacing so I can add a bit more gap between these two areas like that. So everything is a bit more spaced out and same for between these two products. I can add a bit more gap there as well. So everything breathes a bit more. All right, so that pretty much sums it up. So in under a few minutes, I was able to create a new custom layout entirely from scratch using the custom section functionality, inserting groups inside of it, and then blocks to really make up the layout that I had in mind. We're really excited by how much flexibility this will provide to merchants. So can't wait to see all the custom layouts you guys build. Thanks.